What's up, everybody? This is O to the A from Batissimo, and today we're going to be talking about timers. So go ahead and head over to Batissimo, log into your account, and head over to the timers tab. So the first thing that we'll be looking at today is how to create a new timer. Click on create new and you'll get a little pop-up here where we can configure our timer. So the first thing that we'll want to do is give it a name. This is really just for ourselves to recognize the timer in our dashboard whenever we're looking at it. So we'll call this one social, just like the example for the placeholder there. Um, the response is what you want the bot to say in the chat whenever the timer is fired. So we'll start with something simple, you know, follow me on social media at my son at guitar. Cool. So the next thing that we get to select is the platforms that we want it to run on. By default, it will run on all the platforms, but we can limit it to say, this timer only runs on Twitch or this timer runs on Twitch and YouTube kind of thing. So we'll just leave them all on. Uh, the next thing is the interval. So the interval is how often the timer is fired. So you can do anywhere from five minutes to an hour. And something to note is that the interval is actually, it's uh, locked down to an hour. Um, so if you say you set it to be 45 minutes, it's only gonna go off at the 45th minute of every hour. It's not gonna go off every 45 minutes, if that makes sense. So the interval cycle resets every hour. So generally, your, unless you only want a, a timer to fire one time per hour, you probably want to set the time below 30 minutes. Um, so anyways, we'll keep it at five. And so every five minutes, it'll post in the chat, follow, uh, oh, I see I spelled that wrong. Follow me on social media um, kind of thing. And then, yeah. So the next part is the throttle. Now the throttle determines whether the timer is fired at that five minute interval. So what we're telling it is the number of messages that we want to have been sent in our channel in the previous five minutes to activate the timer. Now that may sound kind of complicated, but we'll see this in action in the chat here in a little bit and we'll clear it up a little. Um, the default is five. You can set it anywhere from one to a hundred. So if you want the timer to fire every five minutes, even if only one chat message has been sent, then you set it to one. Now, this is kind of discouraged because that means that every five minutes, the bot is going to post into the chat if only one message was sent. So your chat could end up being like every other message is follow me on social media at I Suck at Guitar if you don't have a lot of chat activity going on, right? Whereas if you were to set it to 100, the max amount, then it's never gonna fire potentially if you have a very slow chat because if you're not getting 100 messages every five minutes, then it will never fire. So generally the throttle number is good to set to a number of messages that means that your timer is no longer visible on the screen anymore so somewhere between five and ten is probably good we'll just go with five um, because then that means that at least five messages must have been sent and maybe uh, we need to post the timer again uh, it's, it's like it's something that you may have to play with based on the activity level of your chat. Uh, skip, and then the last option we have here is to skip the chat relay when using the timer. And we probably want to do that. We don't want the timer to post on Twitch and then relay to Mixer and YouTube because we already have it enabled for Mixer and YouTube, right? Like maybe we would want it to relay if we didn't have it enabled there, but we do. We'll just go ahead and check it. 
cool everything looks good and we'll save it. <clears throat> all right so every five minutes we're gonna have our social timer post into our chat follow me on social media i suck at guitar and we have a five message throttle so the first thing we're gonna go do is head over to our head over to our chat and post five messages <laughs> and then it actually it's 124 so we should see our timer come in here because we posted five messages So now we wait. Cue the Jeopardy theme song or the Jeopardy final Jeopardy music melody. All right, you know what? We'll just, we're waiting the full minute, I guess. So we'll just go back over here and we'll take a look at our list. Uh, and see what kind of actions we can take on our timer. So click on this little options button over here, open up our options. We can reset the timer. So this will reset the counter, uh, which is basically just the number of times the timer has been fired. Uh, the counter is used to, you, to um, control some of the variables that we'll look at here in a little bit. So you can actually output the number of times that the timer has been fired in the response itself <clears throat> and if you want to reset that back to zero you can do that here um, you can also edit the timer like we looked at before that open on here and then you can delete the timer or confirm if you want to delete it or not we'll leave it and then you can close those options if you want and let's go see if our timer fired you bet it did follow me on social media I suck at guitar and you know, maybe if you were being more practical and not just doing a quick tutorial, then you would link to an actual Twitter account or an actual Instagram account or something. But uh, alas, I do not actually have any Twitter accounts or anything for I suck at guitar. So we'll just go with the general example. Anyway, so I was referring to some response variables. Uh, these are covered a little more extensively in the commands tutorial that we have. So I encourage you to go check out the commands tutorial and learn how some of these response variables work. But if you click on the response variable, uh, open up the docs, you can see a lot of different variables that you can use in your timer. Uh, one of them being count. So this is what I was referring to whenever I said you can reset this counter. Um, but what I want to show you is the one variable that is super useful for timers, and it's called rotate. Now what the rotate variable does is it allows you to have a, I guess a set or a list of messages that you want to use, and it will rotate them based on the counter. So the first time the, tire, the timer fires, it will display the first message. And then the second time the, the timer fires, it will display the second message. Why do we need this? Let me explain. <laughs> so you're gonna probably be tempted to wanna have many timers going off, right? Like you wanna have one that says, follow me on social media at five minutes, and then at 10 minutes, follow, you know, um, don't forget to donate or then at 20 minutes you wanted to say this or that and so what you end up doing is creating a bunch of timers of a five minute interval a 10 minute interval a 20 minute interval and then they all they all kind of cross over each other so that at 20 minutes all three of the timers fire and at 10 minutes two of the timers fire and it just it can kind of be a mess in your chat if you if that's not really what you're going for enter the rotate variable this is a beautiful way to create one timer that has a five minute interval and every five minutes it rotates through the messages and displays a new message so we can actually say um, sorry 
we can actually say rotate follow me on social media and then we separate messages with a pipe character which is the character below the backspace character on your keyboard probably and it's also you have to hold down shift but i'm sure i'm sure you know how to use a keyboard right uh, so the pipe character, follow me on social media, and then maybe don't forget to follow, um, or yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, click that heart, I think it's a heart that they have on there or something like that. Anyways, so we'll save that, and now what we will end up with in our chat is but at five minutes, it'll say, follow me on social media. At 10 minutes, it'll say, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Click that heart. And then at 15 minutes, it will say, follow me on social media. And at 20 minutes, and you see, it will go back and forth. Now, of course, I can add more. I can make this have a whole new message, another, and we can go and we could have maybe, you know, how many are in an hour? Um, I'm done, 12. So, you could do up to 12 and every hour it would rotate through all 12 messages. You could do 24 and it would rotate over the course of two hours. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. But yeah, that's how that goes. And it is 1.30. Oh, but we forgot to send messages, so we missed it. Okay, so this is an example here of how the timer did not fire again, right? That's because we didn't say anything in the chat. So for, as far as Bautissimo is concerned, the chat is dead and uh, there's nothing, there's no reason to be posting. So what, what we could have done is, or what we would have needed to do is send some messages to like tell it, hey, we're still here. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's how you can create a timer that rotates through messages every five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever you want to set the interval to here without having to create a bunch of different timers that overlap with each other and double, triple post and all of that. Anyways, so that, that's, that pretty much covers how the timers work. Uh, again, I encourage you to look into all of these variables that we have available to make your timers a little more fun and exciting. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.